Hey, I'm Brad from Fix This Build That. Today, I'm going to show you how to make some sweet wooden coasters with a custom engraved design and a holder that'll hold all six of them in there. All cut from lasers. Pew, 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 pew. I'll be using a full spectrum laser Hobby 2012 that I have on loan from Rockler. The machine uses a 40 watt CO2 laser to cut or burn the wood by bouncing the laser off a series of mirrors to a focal lens that can travel along the X and Y axis. Since I only have it temporarily, I have it on a mobile base so I can move it easily around the shop. The cart also holds a bucket with a water pump inside to help cool the laser tube. There's an air assist and a powered vent to help clear the exhaust as well. I started the project by doing some design work. I found a free website called makeabox.io. You type in the inside dimensions of the box and the thickness of the material you're working with, and it'll make a PDF file for you. The program even factors in the kerf of the laser, which is how wide the beam is when it's cutting. It's a great program, so go ahead and go check it out. The file it gives you is for a six-sided box, so I imported it into Adobe Illustrator and made changes until I got to my final design for the coaster holder. I designed the coasters to be three and a half inches square with rounded corners and I put a Tennessee TriStar logo on them. You can do any kind of design you want, but I wanted to show a little Tennessee State pride. The options here are really endless. I arranged six coasters next to the coaster holder, and then I have my final design. The final step is to export the file to the laser software. There you can set the speeds and power settings for both the engraving, also known as rastering, and the cutting, also known as vectoring. Here I'm setting the power and speed and the number of passes for the vector cutting. The different colors you see on the screen allow me to set different variables for each color. The computer work is done, so let's cut some wood now. I cut this piece of quarter inch plywood to 19 and 5 eighths by 9 inches. To prevent charring from the laser and the smoke, I put some blue painter's tape over the whole workpiece. You'll see how much this helps later on. Next I set up the wood and laser for cutting. I laid the piece on top of the honeycomb cutting grid. This grid helps capture the smoke and heat from cutting. With the piece in place, I can set the laser to the starting position. You do this through either the software or by using the buttons on the front of the laser. In the software, there's a button called Run Perimeter. If you push this, the laser head will go around the perimeter of where it's going to cut. This is really great to make sure that you're not going to go off your workpiece. Now I just close the lid, hit start, and let the magic begin. After the laser was done cutting, I removed the workpiece to take the cut pieces out. Really you want these to be cut free and you just lift them out as you pull out the wood, but unfortunately I didn't test the power settings with the masking tape on it. So the pieces didn't quite cut out all the way so I had to snap them out. If I did it again I would have upped the power by maybe 5 or 10. I just got done pulling the tape off of the coaster that I did. This is the one that I did that I had the tape on. You can see here it looks really good, I'll do a close up here. There's no charring at all, it's just the wood. Now compare that to one that I cut earlier. This is the one that I ran a test run on. You can see around the edges, there's lots of charring. Uh, there's staining around there. So that's the look you're gonna get if you don't tape. This will sand off, uh, so some people like that look. If you wanna have a little bit of charring on there, you can do that. But if you don't wanna have to deal with that and don't wanna do any sanding, go ahead and use the tape and this is what you're gonna get. I removed the tape from the coaster holder pieces and did a dry fit to see how it worked. It was almost a perfect fit, and that really shows the precision of the laser cutting. After the dry fit, I put wood glue on the tabs of the box and assembled it together. I used rubber bands for clamps, and that was more than enough clamping pressure with the tight fit of the joints. I lightly sanded all the coasters and the coaster holder, and finished them all with a few coats of polyurethane spray. I just finished up putting all the coasters together. I put some felt feet on the bottom, just to make sure that it doesn't scratch up any of the wood surfaces that it's going to be on. You can fit six coasters in here, and I have a little more room on the top, so you could really probably fit eight, maybe even nine in there if you wanted to, so you could make some extras. It was a nice project to make for the laser, and I'm gonna try some other materials next time. And now, hey, you got yourself a nice little coaster as well. 